Beneath the frozen expanse of Antarctica, an ice giant is stirring, threatening to reshape the world as we know it. Thwaites Glacier, ominously dubbed the Doomsday Glacier, is one of the most unstable and dangerous glaciers on Earth. Hidden within its icy embrace lies a catastrophe waiting to unfold, a collapse that could send billions of tons of ice pouring into the ocean, raising sea levels by meters and unleashing untold devastation on coastal cities worldwide. Scientists warn that the clock is ticking, with Thwaites showing signs of weakening and retreating at an alarming rate. If this colossal ice sheet succumbs to collapse, the consequences would be global and irreversible. What happens in Antarctica will not stay in Antarctica, and it will define the future of life on Earth. The question is not if, but when, this glacier will collapse, and how prepared we are to face the chaos that follows. Join us today as we delve into the impending collapse of Antarctica's Doomsday Glacier. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to support this channel. Thwaites Glacier is part of the West Antarctic Ice Sheet, one of the two major ice sheets on the continent of Antarctica. The glacier is named after Frederick T. Thwaites, a prominent glaciologist. The Thwaites Glacier covers an area of about 192,000 square kilometers, approximately the size of the U.S. state of Florida. The glacier's location, its mass, and its dynamics make it one of the most critical glaciers on Earth for several reasons. First and foremost, Thwaites is a marine glacier, meaning it rests on a bedrock below sea level. This makes it particularly vulnerable to warming ocean waters, which can undercut the glacier and accelerate its melt. This is in contrast to land-based glaciers, which are typically less affected by oceanic changes. Thwaites is also part of a larger system of glaciers that form the Amundsen Sea Embayment. Together, these glaciers act like a dam, holding back a significant portion of the West Antarctic Ice Sheet. If Thwaites were to collapse, it could destabilize neighboring glaciers, leading to a cascading ice loss from the broader West Antarctic Ice Sheet. This, in turn, could lead to dramatic sea level rise. In recent years, scientists have become increasingly concerned about the health of Thwaites Glacier. Using a combination of satellite imagery, ice-penetrating radar, and oceanographic data, researchers have documented several alarming trends. According to NASA, the glacier has lost about 600 billion tons of ice over the past few decades. This is equivalent to about 4% of the annual global sea level rise observed today. The glacier is also thinned by about 3 to 4 meters per year in some areas, which indicates that it is rapidly deteriorating. Meanwhile, Thwaites is bordered by floating ice shelves, which act as a barrier to slow the glacier's flow into the ocean. However, these ice shelves have also shown signs of weakening and cracking. In 2020, researchers discovered a massive cavity, nearly two-thirds the size of Manhattan, beneath the glacier. This cavity indicates that a significant portion of the ice has already melted, further destabilizing the glacier. More recently, a six-year investigation into the Thwaites Glacier concluded with a grim outlook on its future. It is an extremely remote and difficult area to get to, but the International Thwaites Glacier Collaboration, a joint UK and US research program, has managed to deploy 100 scientists there over the past six years using planes, ships, and underwater robots to study the dynamics of this ice in detail. It was a tremendous challenge that allowed scientists to learn a lot about the glacier. These discoveries include the fact that Thwaites Glacier is particularly vulnerable as it rests on a bed of rock that is well below sea level and is being melted from the underside by warmer seawater. The grounding line is the point where the glacier meets the seabed. The grounding line is critical because it anchors the glacier to the continent. Once the grounding line retreats, the glacier becomes more susceptible to warm ocean waters. Observations show that the grounding line of Thwaites has been retreating at a rate of about 2 kilometers per year. What's more, the bedrock slopes downwards towards the interior of the ice sheet, so, as the glacier retreats, even more ice is exposed to warm seawater, threatening to accelerate the collapse. 
Now the key question is, how quickly is it going to collapse? According to the British Antarctic Survey, the glacier is not going to instantaneously lead to a catastrophic retreat in the next year or the year after. But at the same time, scientists are very sure that Thwaites is going to continue to retreat, and ultimately the retreat is going to accelerate. It's difficult to say when the glacier will fall apart, but scientists predict that Thwaites and the Antarctic ice sheet could be lost entirely by the 23rd century. The slightly better news is that we still have time to influence how rapidly this process occurs, by making drastic efforts to reduce carbon emissions. But even with immediate action to curb fossil fuel use, which is not happening at the necessary pace, it may already be too late to prevent the glacier's collapse. The collapse of Thwaites Glacier could have far-reaching consequences, not just for Antarctica, but for the entire planet. The most direct consequence of the collapse would be a dramatic rise in global sea levels. If Thwaites were to fully collapse, it could contribute about 65 centimeters to global sea levels. This may not sound like much, but even small increases in sea level can have enormous consequences for coastal areas. More importantly, the collapse of Thwaites could trigger the destabilization of other glaciers in the West Antarctic Ice Sheet. This could add an additional 3 to 4 meters of sea level rise over the coming centuries. Such an increase would inundate coastal cities, displace hundreds of millions of people, and cost trillions of dollars in damage to infrastructure and economies. Rising sea levels would lead to increased coastal erosion and more frequent and severe flooding. Low-lying regions, including cities like Miami, New York, and Jakarta, would be particularly vulnerable. Island nations in the Pacific and Indian Oceans would face existential threats, with some potentially disappearing entirely. Storm surges, which are already becoming more severe due to climate change, would become even more devastating with higher sea levels. Even moderate storms could cause widespread flooding and destruction in coastal areas, leading to greater economic losses and displacement of people. Thwaites Glacier's meltwater could also disrupt global ocean circulation patterns, particularly the Atlantic Meridional Overturning Circulation, which is responsible for transporting warm water from the tropics to the North Atlantic. If the AMOC weakens or collapses due to the influx of fresh water from melting glaciers, it could have severe consequences for global climate patterns. A weakened AMOC could lead to colder winters in Europe, shifts in monsoon patterns, and disruptions to marine ecosystems. This could have cascading effects on agriculture, fisheries, and food security, particularly in vulnerable regions of the world. Thwaites Glacier's collapse could also trigger feedback loops that accelerate global warming. As the ice melts and exposes more of the dark ocean surface, less sunlight is reflected back into space and more heat is absorbed by the ocean. This process, known as the albedo effect, could exacerbate warming in the polar regions and contribute to further ice loss. Additionally, the release of freshwater from Thwaites and other Antarctic glaciers could disrupt the global carbon cycle by affecting the ocean's ability to absorb carbon dioxide. This could result in higher concentrations of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, further accelerating climate change. Recognizing the potential catastrophe posed by Thwaites Glacier, the scientific community has ramped up efforts to study and mitigate its collapse. Several international research collaborations have been established to monitor the glacier and better understand the dynamics at play. Beyond scientific research, addressing the broader issue of climate change is essential for slowing the deterioration of Thwaites Glacier. Reducing greenhouse gas emissions, transitioning to renewable energy sources, and implementing policies that promote climate resilience are critical for mitigating the worst impacts of Thwaites collapse. International agreements like the Paris Agreement aim to limit global warming to well below 2 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels. Achieving these targets could help slow the melting of polar ice and reduce the risk of catastrophic sea level rise. Some scientists have also proposed geoengineering solutions to slow or prevent the collapse of Thwaites Glacier. 
These ideas include artificially cooling the waters around Antarctica or constructing barriers to block warm ocean currents from reaching the glacier. However, these proposals are still in the early stages of research, and their feasibility and potential risks remain uncertain. While efforts are underway to study and mitigate the collapse of Thwaites Glacier, the ultimate solution lies in addressing the root cause of the problem, human-induced climate change. Reducing greenhouse gas emissions, transitioning to sustainable energy, and protecting vulnerable ecosystems are all crucial steps in preventing the worst-case scenarios from becoming a reality. It is clear now that the fate of Thwaites Glacier and the future of our planet depends on the actions we take today.